This is mile two, Osho, the Apapa Expressway, Lagos. The road is littered with articulated vehicles heading towards the Nigerian Port Authority, Tinkan, as well as petrol and diesel trucks trying to get the products. This same axis is where a number of diesel and PMS-laden tankers went ablaze on Tuesday on a piece of land owned by the Nigerian Army, Maltu. Although the fire has been put out, Channel's television's camera was not allowed to get clips of the affected area. Eyewitnesses shared their story. Around the six thirty in the evening, when I drive near Ottawa, I saw a very big uh, smoke coming out from uh, near the my two army signal. So it happened that uh, I asked the cause. They say it's uh, a garage where they load fuel and tankers inside there. Now, uh, this morning I come around and saw that all burned to ashes. There was a lot of damage. From a reliable source, I heard that though inside the premises, there are some offices, uh, food cutting, uh, markets inside the parks there. But I heard that somebody wanted to start his generator that yesterday, that it was that generator that sparked that got fire, that explode, that makes the fire to get exploded that yesterday. It's not a smooth ride for motorists plying this route. Traffic congestion has become a routine on this road. Commercial motorcycles have taken advantage of the situation by making fast income. But well, that's not all. Even the market men and women have also occupied the road under construction to earn their daily bread. This road has been under construction for about three years. Hopefully, when the Mile 2 Oshudia Papa Expressway project is completed, commuters will heave a sigh of relief.